Hello YouTube, Goddard Radio Moscow here again with another beer review for you as is usual. For this one we are going to continue on with a series of Scottish beer reviews once again and this is review number 24 out of 34 in that series that I called it the Scottish Beer Month. So for this one we're going to head down to the southwest of Scotland, a little village called Castle Douglas, fairly maybe about 30 miles away from Dumfries and we're going to visit the Sulwath Brewery. This is the very first time I'm trying anything from these guys and we're going to have a taste of the golden ale which is called Galloway Gold. Meant to be quite a nice one this but as I say I really don't know very much about this, about their beers or about this brewery at all. So as is usual with my reviews then I'll take you through a very brief history of the brewery. It is very very short but if you don't want to stick with me for that feel free to fast forward a few minutes into the video and you will get straight to the tasting. The brewery website is in the video description for you below along with a link to my other reviews that I will do from the Sulwath Brewery in the near future. So anyway as I mentioned to you, this brewery comes from a quite a small village called Castle Douglas in Dumfries and Galloway. I think it's about 30 miles or so to the east of Dumfries. But the company were founded in February of 1996, although they'd actually been brewing since the autumn of 1995. Alan Henderson, one of the two brothers involved here, is the managing director of the company, while Jim Henderson is the general manager and sales consultant. But the brewery moved from their original premises and converted farm buildings at Southern Cross and Solway Coast to their current location in Castle Douglas and most of the names of their beers actually come from their Galloway surroundings and the name Solwath itself comes from the ancient name of the Solway estuary. So their current brewery in Castle Douglas has a seven and a half barrel capacity and outputs about 500 gallons of beer per week and they also bottle and package their beers on site as well and they have a visitor centre where you can actually go and get tours of the brewery. I went down there a couple of months ago and I think it was a Sunday so the brewery was shut. I was a little disappointed but you can actually go and visit this brewery and have a look at them. I'll need to go down there again and have a little look one time. Hopefully they'll be open that time. But Solworth prefer to use locally sourced ingredients wherever possible. And for the most part they use hops grown in Hereford through a family connection and this family have apparently been growing hops for three generations. It's a nice hop growing family, kind of a tradition there. But that's a sort of brief history if you like of the Solworth brewery. I hope you've enjoyed that but just to listen to a few of the other breweries, uh, other beers sorry you can get from this brewery you'll get the Criffle Ale, which is an IPA, Cool Hill, which is an Amber Ale, Knockin' Dock, which is a Dark Ale apparently, you get this guy here, Galloway Gold, which is their Golden Ale, Black Galloway, which is a Porter, and John Paul Jones, which is an Amber Ale, and there are a few other ones listed there on the uh, on the brewery website as well, so check out those, I hear there's some really, really nice stuff coming out of this brewery. So let me just bring up the camera and I'll let you have a little look at the artwork on this one here. Uh, let me just see, here we are. So you can see it's quite nicely presented actually, I quite like it how it has the saltire on the background there. As I've mentioned to you in a few of these reviews so far, the saltire is the oldest national flag still in existence. I think it dates back to like 890 or something like that. 843 of course was when the Kingdom of Scots was founded. But you can see that's the kind of Solworth symbol. Uh, no, it just says craft beer from Scotland so I guess this whole kind of thing is the uh, the Solworth Brewery logo if you like they don't seem to have their own crest I guess actually but maybe that is maybe that's the Solworth thing there the little thistle but it's very nicely presented this actually I nearly dropped it there um, but it looks it's very very nicely presented beer and we'll get this guy out and on with the tasting then you can just see in the little portrait the nice birds and the sort of Scottish coastline going on there it is of course a, pa a plain bottle cap for this one here the beer is definitely in date it has a date on it there which is the 9th of the 2nd 2015 so well in date with this one it's a half liter bottle and as I mentioned to you at the start of the video this guy is a golden ale it comes in at 5% it uses lager and wheat malts and sats hops as well so let's get this guy out and we'll get on with the tasting as you can see not really a smoky opening there just getting a little bit of bubbles coming out so we'll get this guy out and into the glass and then we can have a look at the color and aroma and stuff like that. I'll just let it pour like that, get a good bit of head on it there. Leave a little bit so we can sugar it up as we always do. I'll bring up the camera again and just check how well you can see this beer. If I bring the light up, as you can see, it's pulled a, it's poured a really kind of very kind of clear straw golden colour, about a finger of a kind of white frothy head on it there. Just a little bit of carbonation visible, teeny tiny little bit of sediment in there, but as you can see, if I put my fingers behind it, it is pretty much completely transparent. Very attractive looking beer actually, so let's give it a smell and see how we get on. Quite a sweet kind of citricky and uh, and grassy hop that's coming out of this one actually. 
you can pick up the lager malts in it as well. It smells a bit like a kind of. It smells almost a little bit like a German pilsner. There's a little bit of earthy character, I think, just coming out from the hops as well. I always find that that some Satz hops from, I think they come from Austria and the Czech Republic actually, some from Bavaria in the uh, in the Hallertau and Tettnanger regions, but Tettnanger is away over in Baden-Württemberg, somewhere like that. But it definitely has a little bit of an earthy character that you can normally associate with the Satz hop. But you've got a big kind of nice white bready aroma there, it's quite sweet actually, there's almost a bit of a yeasty character to it, but a lot of biscuit sweetness coming out of the malt as well. But it's mainly a kind of grassy and slightly citric aroma that's coming out of it. But a little bit of earthy character too. It's almost a little... I could almost be mistaken for saying it has a teeny tiny bit of smoky character to it. But maybe that's just me smelling things. But I think there is a bit of, a definitely a good bit of earthy character to this. So let's get the last little bit into the glass and then we can get on with the tasting here. So... That's it all poured out and we can get on with this now. So this is my very first encounter with a beer from the Solworth Brewery. I've heard quite good things even though I don't know so much about the brewery. A lot of people have told me there's some nice brews here. So my first taste of the Solworth Brewery and this is the Galloway Gold. Cheers. Hmm. It definitely has a kind of unusual sort of smoky character to it really it's a bit it's got a bit of an ashy feel to it actually which is quite unusual I'm not sure what that is the only other beer I've encountered this with is the uh, the uh, what was it the old world IPA from Brewdog this had this kind of sort of ashy feel to it at the same time which is quite interesting Yeah, there really is some kind of underlying ashy character to this one. I'm not sure exactly what that is. It's a very... It kind of sort of dampens the flavour of this one a little bit. But I mean, the other flavours that are coming out, it definitely has a kind of bready and yeasty character to it. Definitely a kind of sweet, white bready character. Some yeasty element in there too. Maybe a little bit of biscuit sweetness in there. I'm not sure what this almost ashy character that's coming out of this beer is. But yeah, there's definitely some kind of heavier bread flavours in there as well. well. It's got a little bit of caramel, I think, too. But it really, I really don't know what that kind of ashy feel that it has to it is. It's a really kind of unusual element in the in the flavour of this beer. As I say, quite a bit of a mystery to me exactly what that is. The only other beer I've encountered that in was the Old World IPA from Brewdog. But I mean, it does, if that ashy feel was taken out of it, it's got everything you would want from a gold nail actually. Some people will like that sort of ashy element to the flavour that the beer has. I really, as I say, I don't really know what that is exactly, but it's got a nice bit of caramel in there. There is a nice little bit of caramel and sort of citric and grassy sweetness coming out on the end there. Maybe it's just the certain type of earthy character that's coming out of it, but to me it has a little bit of an ashy feel to it. And... It almost, in a way, that little feel, that little taste that it has kind of masks the, the better flavours in the beer, if that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, the beer has, you can tell from this one, it has a really, really nice sort of bready, malty character that comes out, but it is masked. I mean, just in the after, you get a little bit of that nice bready character comes in at the start but then you've just got this little bit of ashy feel that that comes up and just kind of sits itself right in the middle of the tongue it's not even a kind of earthy character that I was picking out in the uh, in the start of the beer it's just this really unusual slightly smoky slightly ashy kind of feel to it but I mean at the front of the tongue you're getting the kind of juicy sort of citric feel to the beer the nice kind of grassy hop in there and that kind of stays with you around the edge of the tongue you've got uh, towards the back you've got the bready and sort of yeasty character and the flavour coming out and just blanket in the tongue but around as I say around the edge a little bit of citrusy 
flavour there with a bit of grassy character. You just get the juiciness towards the front of the uh, of the mouth as well, which is quite nice. But then right in the middle of the tongue, you've got this kind of ashy, maybe slightly earthy character coming out. But it's I don't know why it has that. The beer doesn't need that. I don't know exactly where that flavour comes from. It's not a typical. Um, element that you expect with the Sats hop actually. Usually they have a bit of earthy character but it's not very kind of smoky and ashy in that way. I'm really not sure exactly where that comes from at all. But overall the uh, the flavour of this one, or the mouthfeel sorry, it's quite light bodied the carbonation is fairly smooth in it at all. It doesn't play much of a role actually. There's a little teeny bit of dry character, particularly when it comes to that kind of ashy, earthy flavour. I need to look into that and really see if that's a, an element of the Sats hop actually, but there is a bit of element of dryness, particularly in the middle of the tongue there. And it's not very bitter at all. Actually, in certain elements of the mouthfeel, it is juicy, um, but overall, overall when it comes to this beer, this one I would say isn't my kind of thing. I, I'm not so keen on that kind of ashy flavour or, or earthy flavour that comes out with the Sats Hop in this. Um, I would really want to try another one of their beers uh, and see how we get on with that. They do have quite a few other ones that are meant to be very very nice but that kind of earthy ashy feel on this one puts me off a little bit but I mean it's meant to be a very very nice brewery as I say their other beers are very very highly rated this was the one that went out on sale in the uh, the Aldi Scottish Beer Festival thing what I would recommend to Aldi is that they pick one of the other ones for the next one of this but I mean hopefully as I say it's maybe just not my kind of thing there's probably a lot of people who will like that kind of earthy ashy character that comes out in this in the sats hop in this one it's quite an interesting beer and for me what I would say is if that little ashy mouthfeel that it has was removed it would be a beautiful beer nice and juicy a nice kind of easy summer festival one it's just that one little thing that's just really not to my taste that kind of puts it in that but what I would say to you is check out the Solwath Brewery go and have a taste of the few ales if you do like something that's got a little bit of a nice kind of a smoky edge to it, check out this guy, um, but the other one I'd be really tempted to try one of their other golden eels or one of their other darker eels and see how we get on with that. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this beer review, it's, uh, it's been quite an interesting one this, picked up on a few kind of subtle elements in the beer, but as is usual then, please comment in the section below and let me know your own thoughts on this beer, always interesting to hear those, I hope you're enjoying the series of Scottish beer reviews, go and check out the Solwath Brewery, and uh, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff, and I will catch you soon with another beer review. Cheers.